Judy, the 35-page autopsy report that Dexter Reed was shot 13 times. It also ruled the manner of his death to be a homicide. The report, obtained by the ABC 7i team, comes just one day after Reed's family filed a federal civil rights lawsuit claiming that it was the officer's tactics that, quote, created an environment that directly resulted in his death. 13, that is the number of bullet wounds found on Dexter Reed's body during an autopsy report performed on the 26-year-old one day after his death on March the 21st. The report indicates Reed was shot four times in the buttocks, twice in the chest, right thigh and right leg, once in the left shoulder and once in the left knee. Reed was killed during a confrontation with Chicago police officers in East Garfield Park following a traffic stop for an alleged seatbelt violation. His death is now subject to an ongoing investigation by both the Cook County State's Attorney's Office and the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. Open the door now! Body cam footage released by COPA two and a half weeks ago shows officers demanding that Reed roll down his window and unlock his doors. COPA says Reed appears to open fire first on one officer standing on the front passenger side. Four other officers, all members of a CPD tactical team, then return fire, firing, according to COPA, 96 shots in 41 seconds. And while the initial COPA findings report that Reed Reed fired first. Protests have followed the release of the body camera footage, along with calls for the officers involved to have their police powers revoked as the investigation continues. On Wednesday, Reed's family filed a federal wrongful death lawsuit, calling the traffic stop illegal and accusing Chicago police of promoting brutally violent militarized policing tactics. A toxicology report performed on Reed as part of the autopsy also found a small amount of THC, the substance that is active, the, I should say the active substance in marijuana in his bloodstream at the time of his death. The amount, however, was about half of the legal limit for driving in Illinois. Now, the officers involved in the shooting remain on administrative leave, which is the standard procedure after a police-involved shooting. Ravi? Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.